welcome back to Shining Force 2. Let's just get on with this. Uh, we are going now to explore the village of Bedo, where there lives a bunch of bird brains. <laughs> Mighty Volcano, he easily defeated the greater devil. Oh, uh, yeah, here's one uh, little adjustment they made to the uh, gameplay actually that I didn't mention. Uh, when you advance through the uh, dialogue boxes, uh, you can actually do that with the um, direction buttons. You don't you don't have to use um, A, B, and C, whatever. You can just use like up, down, left, right, kind of thing. So that's kind of neat. Okay, the vase was dark inside. How about that? Um, how to fly? <laughs> Very good to know that if you're a bird. And Phoenix. Ah. So here's the priest. I don't think there's anything we kind of need to see them foul, but hey. Good to see you. Okay, that's that's delightful. Just save the game then, so we didn't come here in vain. Yes, I will. Because it's too much of a hassle if you say no. Ah, buy stuff. Let's see what's up. Shucks. Oh, steel, that's actually be an upgrade for Chester. Although it does reduce his range. Well... Oh, just look at all these items, it's just nuts. for Yaha. Hmm. I need to sell a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's just do that real quick. Just so you don't think um, everything is just game over or something uh, if you sell these mithrils. Uh, while you do get money for them, uh, they will appear in the deals section of uh, the item shop, I think. Where you can buy them back for uh, the modest sum of 5,000 gold coins. All in all, I would say that your money is better spent on other things. So I would rather not. Oh, I do have 7,000 gold though. Thank you, come again. And I don't really need any items right now. I could have a look though. Yeah, healing seeds, healing gloves, and fairy powder and stuff. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I don't need sell, I meant this. Oh, really? Huh. Wow. I was completely unaware of that. 
I would argue that this Mr. Dude really needs it. Uh, you could also equip it to Peter and, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I I'm actually gonna do that. Um, so, you know. Behold the carnage. It's, wow. It's going to be crazy. Uh, in here, uh, we should find something in one of these pots. I think it's this one. Quick rain. Uh, that ups your agility. You need a lot of agility. Oh. Yeah, stuff. Um, are you? No, I don't think you're that bird. Um, yeah, about that bonus character. by invading armies and stuff. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, agility. Oh, that's interesting. The main character actually is very unagile. Huh. Fancy that on a stick. Well, plus five agility. Now he may even uh, evade every once in a while. Oh, wait, let me just double check. Okay. Uh, yeah. Speak to the bird fellow, and uh, that stuff will be good. Kneel before King Bero. Just kidding. Okay. Yes, the Rishir Devil was very strong. But Gon Volcanon swept away all the devils. What about the greater devil? He fled. Dun dun dun! Can't you track him? We must capture him before he before he regains his strength. Did they come from Grass Island? I think so. Maybe he died. But beware of another attack. Watch carefully. Um. Yeah. About Grass Island. Uh, no, 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 come on, no. there, there we go. Wings and feathers. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, sorry. Peter, Peter, you have a character portrait. Luke, how have you been? This is not Luke Skywalker, but uh, there's a pretty good chance he's a reference to that. <laughs> King Beto, you look well. Peter, my friend, how was your journey? Let me introduce my friend. Not and not. This is player name. He's from Grandsand. I know, he is a pupil of Astral of Grand Seal. How do you know that? So Astral told me. Duh. <laughs> what? Did you come to Grand Seal? That's Mokanos Messenger. Ooh. And I heard that somebody unsealed Zeon. Zeon then. Grants people cause a big, big problem. Zeon might destroy the world. So he's not a nice guy then, okay? Sorry to interrupt, but is he that strong? Zeon is king of the devils. Oh snap. Peter, you had better go see Volcanon. Let me calm him down to see Peter. Oh, is he angry? Uh, maybe later. Never mind later, he has been waiting for you. Oh yeah, oh, okay, I'm going. Their name, follow me. Peter, are you taking Anna with you? Of course, why not? He thinks the people of Grand Seal are... Better, I think Anna has to see Vulcanon. So do I. 
I think he's pretty snazzy. You should talk to him. Oh, and that, I guess. Mm. Right, Peter, go ahead. Okay, and wait, let's go. Uh, is there still anything out here we can do? No, okay. Let's see. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Go to okay, Mount Volcano, speak to. Okay, I dig it. So this is the top of the mountain, I think. There's a different music here as well. This is a wooden area. What kind of shrine is here? So this is... Oh. This will be the shrine theme then. Hello. This shrine was built at the top of the mountain to watch over everything. Do you know the legend of the phoenix? Enlighten me. A phoenix is the legendary bird who can't be killed. It is life itself. When his first life is nearly over, he bursts into holy fire to finish it. The fire creates another life for the phoenix on the ground. God, Volcanon, I'm back, and I need some tea. Welcome back, Peter, you look well. Uh, yeah, I don't do booming voices, but this is definitely a case for a booming voice. Yes, I am. This trip was very interesting. Good. What made it interesting? I met a lot of people that live on the ground. I'm missing a syllable in between. Wonder which one. Uh, they help each other. I made some friends. Wonderful. That must have been a good experience for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Mispronunciation. I've brought a friend. Hi. This is Arve. He is from Grand Seal. Actually, I'm from Gothenburg, but who cares? Uh, I don't think he likes me. Grancy, people of Grants Island cause a serious, deadly problem for the world. Volcanon? They awaken the sea on the legendary devil. I've been protecting all the ground of people. I can't forgive them for this. Oh, come on, please calm down. Arve is not the person who did it. Everybody who lives on the ground is responsible. They have to solve this by themselves. What should Arve do? My protection ceases now. He must face the devils on his own. But... Even the greater devils are strong as you. If all the humans are annihilated, that's okay. It's their destiny. I want them to show me courage. They must reseal the devil again. Then please give some advice to Arve. Arve, believe in the power of the jewel. It belongs to both the light and the darkness. It shows its true power when the light and the darkness are as one. You may go now. I don't want to see anybody until the Sion is defeated. Vulcanon? Uh, we'll defeat that devil by ourselves. I didn't know he was such a cold-hearted god. Uh, yeah, Vulcanon is kind of a neoconservative. Okay, I'll help you. I'll go with you to reseal the devil. PJ the Phoenix, or Fink, has joined the force. Uh, yeah, about this. Uh, before you kind of notice how the AI controlled him. Um, from this point forward, he will be under player control, so that is good. Oh, is there something to... Uh, no. I'll just leave Mr. Neoconservative God alone. Thank you for getting out in my way, birds. Move it, move it. Okay, Pokemon was very angry, wasn't he? We can no longer depend on them. We must do it ourselves. But Volcanon has forsaken the people of the Earth. Are you going to kill Zeon as he demanded? Nah. Of course you're gonna say yes. Come on. You're a man of honor. Why don't you go see Creed? He's an ex greater devil. He may give you some information. Uh, let me just stop you right here. Um, as he progressed through the game, this thing 
ex greater devil, like defecting from being a greater devil. Uh, as the, narrat the rest of the narrative is presented, that sort of thing just doesn't happen. So this is a great big plot hole. Uh, just pointing it out. Um, make a big deal out of it if you want to. I kind of want to actually, but hey, the game is what it is. The main thing is the gameplay. You need some information, which you will. You must travel along the river to get to Queen's Mansion. Maybe Pope has a raft for you. Tell the mayor to prepare a raft. Yes, sir. So, Luke won't be joining us at this moment in time. Peter, please help Arve. Arve, good luck. Why, well, thank you. We can't come down Volcanon. Without his protection, the people that live on the ground will perish. And Tristan and Beto will survive. Why Tristan? Well, Tristan actually has their own deity. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Uh, we have to go here. Yeah, this is the one. I had a dream last night. I flew. Watch, I can fly. Flappa flappa. You're like a regular puffin. Hmm, strange. That didn't work. He. Stay there. I know I can fly. Uh, yeah, because this is a good idea. Oh, almost hit the ground there. See? I told you, I can't fly. Sort of. Uh, yeah, we need to do that to... Well, there's one step towards uh, unlocking a sort of hidden character. He is at least very visible. The character I'm talking about, of course, for those who know, is Screech, and this is the second step. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh my! Screech! Face plant! Jump on my head, will ya? Thank you, thank you, Screech is okay! Uh, yeah, thank you. I'm out of here. Uh, so, uh, Screech, um, whether to use him or not, um, he is considered to be a worse unit than Luke. Uh, not by a very big margin, but still worse. So, the going wisdom is that you really shouldn't use him. But uh, again, that is one thing I have left the poll open for you to decide, sir viewers. Um, again, I have only nine party members, I think. Uh, so quick, I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I have at least three more characters to recruit before it even matters, so make sure to have your say uh, if you want to have a say. Otherwise, I am actually going to use Screech. I think. I plan to use Screech. Um, as my Merton, that is, if I kind of meet Merton. But anyway. Battle soldiers are cowards. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, hi. Be quiet. My comrades. Wow. Captive, don't force me to kill you. No more fun of this. You can't resist us. Now give me that injured boy. Don't listen to him. Oh, you're old, Vado. I'll help you fight against the devils and guard Odler. So, you. Oh, Alva, Peter. Luke, why are you here? I came in to get a raft for you. The people of Polk are being controlled by these devils. They deceived me. Miss Luke, I'm sorry. Polkans will not fight. Please let me join you. 
because you're poking me, you won't fight. Um, okay. Geralt, the wolfman, has joined the force. No r relation to Geralt of Rivia, by the way. Just... Just... Say... He's a lot more hairy. Hey! Don't forget me! I guess Luke won't be joining us this time either. You still dare to resist us? Or that you shall die! Because we're all evil here, right? Uh, now, this fight can actually be a bit challenging. This one is apparently the boss. And I have some more death archers, and goblins, and this is a zombie. 32 attack, that is pretty good. 20 defense isn't half bad either. Um, not quite sure about their sensitivity to fire, but we'll. Well, we have plenty of chances to see how. See what's up with that. Uh, first of all, let's advance carefully. Uh, say, says I, and just rushes straight ahead with Chester. <laughs> well, Chester is a bit more hardy than most of the others. So. Well, at least in this point in the game, he won't always be. Oh yeah, I have control of Peter, the thing. And he will be a Fink until he becomes Phoenix. on the next turn, so I'll just precipitate a little. No, this was not an ideal start, but that is the start we got. And Sami is going to give us a black guy. Oh! Right, Chester does not have a spear anymore. That was stupid of me. 32 defense. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Araita really has ridiculously high defense. If the zombies can ever get to attack a different, well, another character, uh, you're gonna see exactly how crazy strong he is. Or at least his defense. That low hit point count, though, is a problem. That is a very real problem that is usually, as I said, going to. Well, discounted from any real serious in-game party. That's kind of sad. Ow. Yeah, one damage on Raita, ten arms late. Um. Zombies are strong. Just 
trying to keep to half hour episodes, so transcoding stuff takes time. Okay. That works well. I'm okay with that. But he's actually a bit stronger than Silo from uh, Shiny Cliff 1. I hope you remember the guy. Uh, this is dangerous. Yes. Let's see if I can draw any of. Yeah, the hub problem is coming my way. Let's see what Blaze does then. Oh, yeah, I don't show the battle damage. Oops. Oh, hey, kill. Level up. I like that. Hi. Of you not to double, sir. Last time. Ooh. Ah, detox level two. Sweet. Huh. Slade is really badass now. That's. I did not expect that. I do approve, however. <laughs> that evil cloud looks pretty weak now. really strong in the attack department, but he also seems to have a pretty good defense. Oh, maybe I should show you his stats as well. Right. Uh, here we go. Stats coming up. 36 attack, that's really good. 21 defense? Yeah. Not stellar, but that's fair. It's respectable. I can dig it. Now that Sarah has detox level 2, you could argue that we don't really need uh, any powder. Oh, right, I was hoping I would get to. I could see how much MP the detox level 2 requires. I think it actually costs a whole ton of MP. What? Well, um, fucking like 10. Points or something. That's not really what we want to spend our MP on at this point in the game. We only have the one healer, you know? For now, of course. For now. Okay. Good luck with that, sir. here. So what I'm gonna do is take this little group now and hopefully these people won't be too badly injured by the- oh wow. 
Never mind. <laughs> uh, but now we get to see what Blaze Little One does against us. So that's fine. That's not very much really. But I am actually going to wrap up this episode right here with some writer action. Um, and yeah, see you back for the next episode, hopefully. Ah, phew. Thank God I don't have to double any counter or anything. So that'll be that, and everybody will be happy. And hopefully, um, someone will have said something about who to bring uh, to the party. Ah, ah you know what I mean. Make your voices heard. Um, so, see you later, everybody.